Shalom Akim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakan Kadash, Rakatam, Double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles, Grimly Stone Road Well, to the Akim Akwa, to the four corners of the earth, holding on in sincerity and in truth to the testimony of our Lord and Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. This is Brother Manasha DC Camp, another interesting lesson for the edification of the church. Yeah, this topic of uh, genital mutilation is just something we need to look into, all right? And uh, it's just one of those uh, easily forgotten practices that uh, our people used to engage in, all right? And uh, Esau used to campaign so hard, <laughs> so hard against the uh, genital mutilation and then it turns around and start pushing all this uh trans uh, agenda you know so it just shows you how uh how hilarious you know this uh agenda of the elites are man you know to keep the people occupied in uh their own downfall yeah so that's exactly what we have to uh observe Okay, because uh, they're pushing this, uh, you know, agenda so bad in the media, all right? So when you just go on uh, any search engine, you could just use Google, you could use YouTube, you could use Bing, just type in genital mutilations and you understand, you know, what you're dealing with. So this is uh, the, is the uh, agenda that uh, our people that be in the tall world there's a practice they engage in you know so uh it's just something you have to uh get yourself uh adjusted to you know exactly why they do it and then you have the agenda of uh Esau society all right the elites of Esau's uh, kingdom pushing the uh, change of gender you know, gender re reassignment surgery and all that stuff. All right, so if that's not uh, mutilation, or genital mutilation, I wonder what that could be called. Yeah, so when you're pushing all these uh, medications to block uh, hormones that are necessary for puberty, <laughs> what is that? You know, that's another form of uh, suppression and mutilation, all right, and uh, castration. Okay, so what else could that be? If castration is not genital mutilation, what could you call it? Yeah, so that's what um, you have to be aware of, man, when you study Jesus' agenda. Okay, so it's just the idea of uh, of things to look at. Okay, so you, you just see the different faces of people that uh, were victims of uh, a lack of knowledge all right so let me get that preserved real quick man this is from the book of uh hosea chapter 4 verse 6 this just helps you to understand why there is so much confusion among our people when they do not uh, hold on to the Testament of the Lord Amashiach Yahushai, the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. So Hosea 4 and 6 says this My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou should that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. So you see how that cuts? Yep. <laughs> see how the Lord allows our people to get jacked up when they become uh, disobedient. In other words, the, the, uh, they refuse to uh, accept the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, all right, given to our, our forefathers by, uh, by Moses, okay? So what do you expect to happen? The Lord has to cause uh, that spirit of confusion to run rampant among our people. They start adopting the practices of the heathen, right? 
that's why you have this uh, female genital mutilation and then uh, castration all right so it's a uh, it's, it's 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 a mess all right and then you, you, you follow the agenda of uh, all this uh, trans activism that they're trying to push you know saying that uh, children could decide what uh, gender that uh, they can uh, in, that they want to be and then the school system can offer uh, solutions and advice and guidance on how they could go about achieving that uh, that goal <laughs> You know, so what what are usually doing? You're basically pushing the parents out of the put out of the picture, All right? That's exactly what these uh, devious uh, elites are doing because they control the institutions of society. You know, they control the school system, the so-called judicial system. They control both, and the law enforcement. They control all those, and you can imagine how people get their children snatched away from them, and they get subjected to all types of. Uh, propaganda that twists their mind like a pretzel you know all bugged out that's why the crime is so high all right the uh the minds of the family has been altered okay that's why you have all these car jerkings and murder and uh abortion and all that stuff because uh the elites are pushing that vibration and uh, the weak are the ones that uh succumbing to that pressure all right so just uh you know just keep on taking a look at what's listed in the search results all right so it's saying end uh female genital mutilation all right so all these uh like the guardian these different news agencies are talking about it you know you have advertising all that stuff you know so it's just chaos so um let me get another, another precept just to uh, wrap this up so this is from the book of uh genesis all right chapter five this is exactly what the lord the blueprint the lord set for our people all right set for humanity upon the face of the earth all right, the blueprint that they're supposed to follow. Genesis chapter 5, verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In that day that the Messiah created man in the likeness of the Elohim, made he them. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. So he created them male and female and that's clear you know that is clear as uh, night and day as the sun and moon yeah so that's how uh, the lord has set forth the, the process for humanity to exist upon the face of the earth you have to follow certain principles all right certain guidelines and when uh, those guidelines are challenged and undermined this is the madness you see mutilation 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 all right castration castration you have uh, abortion all that stuff you have cross-dressing so this is chaotic and then uh read this one uh from the book of uh, deuteronomy chapter 22 verse verse 5 it says the man the woman all right the woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are abomination unto the lord Yahweh. thy power that's as clear as it can be all right it's that simple. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord Yahweh, thy power. So that's why uh, Esau's kingdom is filled with abomination. All right. 
the abomination that make it desolate. <laughs> That's Esau for you. Okay. That's the only label, the only kingdom that the Lord has labeled as the abomination, as an abomination. Okay. Why? Because uh, the ways are totally contrary to the word of the Lord. All right. They're always seeking to abolish the words of righteousness, the laws of righteousness. Okay. So, um, another precept from the book of uh, Romans. All right. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. This is what it says. I'm just going to read verse 26 and uh, 27. It says, For this cause the Most High gave them up to vile affections, right? For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, living the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another. Men with men walking that which is unseemly and receiving the recompense and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was meet. So that's the whole agenda. The Lord has already set the plan in place for people to uh, stick to. But when they deviate from it, they open themselves up to uh, irreparable damage all right psychological damage that's the whole you know the whole result when people uh, fight against the word of the Lord okay so when the men and the women decide to go against the word of the Lord they get uh, they get judged you know the Lord lets the demons jump on them they just go from you know worse and worse and worse to worse and worse and worse yeah, it's like their soul has been uh, burnt up, that the light, that fire has been put out. So you just have to be aware of what the Lord can do, you know, to people when he brings the judgment upon them. And then you read uh, the book of Leviticus, all right? Book of Leviticus chapter 18. And uh, look at verse 21. It says this. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shalt thou profane the name of the Lord thy power. I am the Lord Yahweh. It's that clear. And uh, when our people want to do the right thing, they get uh, pressured by the elites, by Esau's agenda, to go against the Lord, and the weak of our people fall into that trap all right that's what the scripture talks about uh this okay let me pull it up real quick All right, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduced them. So that's the reason why there's so much abortion among our people, because uh, the pressure of the elite using uh, Planned Parenthood has caused them to uh, fall in line with that agenda, to think that uh, 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 abortion is... Uh, symptom of uh, independence but it's a symptom of uh, destruction all right so that's all it is the spirit of uh, the lord <laughs> is not going to let them uh, deceive their way out of it okay so no matter how many books no matter how many protests they like to push that's just it and then you have the so-called uh, supreme court agenda supreme court uh, debate all these uh, legal debates in these different uh, states about uh, the abortion pill and all that stuff. It's just uh, not a trick that uh, women, silly women, are going to fall to. Yeah, so 
That's the whole idea, right? Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. And that's what they keep trying to push, you know, trying to make women feel liberated. But that's not liberation. That's uh, damnation. All right. They are causing damage to their psyche. All right. When they hold on to such uh, tenets of Babylon, you know, women just think that uh, there are no uh, repercussions for violating uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Yeah. So, ask him out of the Lord, and uh, you'll find out. All right. So, uh, it's just a matter of time that these people find out that the Lord is about to tear this place apart. So all this agenda that they're making children just uh, turn against their, their biological nature, it's, uh, it's clear that what the elites want to do, they're trying to limit the production, you know, reproduction of, uh, of people. They're trying to reduce the population of people, and uh, it's that clear. All right, the Lord talks about by their fruits, you shall know them. So we know exactly what they've been up to, all right? So... There's nothing new under the sun, and uh, no matter how hard they try to limit the population of the people upon the face of the earth, the Lord is going to allow them to get to a certain stage, but nothing more than that. And that's it. Okay? So the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 35, it says this, And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Malek. Yeah, so child sacrifice. That's all it is, man. All these abortions is just child sacrifice. Which I commanded them not. Neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Yeah, so... That's what you have to uh, pay attention to, man, you know. So, the Lord uh, is making everything known, exposing. Some people saying, oh, we don't want uh, genital mutilation of, uh, of girls, but then they go around pushing all this uh, gender reassignment surgery, you know. Offer them uh, puberty blockers. <laughs> Yeah, that's the whole uh, craziness. You have to uh, you have to deal with, all right. Female circumcision still happens in Singapore. Yeah, so that's backwards, all right. That's exactly what the heathen used to do, and our people jumped on it, all right. So now we know exactly what. Uh, is going on okay so that's the point there i came and baratus uh you know the lord will deliver us man now they're talking about uh circumcision of the boys <laughs> all right philippine circumcision season a rite of passage or child abuse that's what they always want to do cause confusion but anyway that's that you know the point is made you know you could look into it you understand what's going on shalom